We're learning new details about the 2013 abduction and murder of eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle. Since the morning show, we've been going through more surveillance videos and 911 calls released from the night Cherish disappeared. Her accused killer, 56-year-old Donald Smith, is awaiting trial. It's been repeatedly delayed because of the Supreme Court's decision overturning Florida's death penalty. General Force Vic McAlucci has been pouring through the records. Joins us with the latest, Vic. And I want to warn everyone, very disturbing details here, Bruce. We hear the heartbreaking 911 call from Cherish's mother, Rain Periwinkle, as she reported her daughter had been abducted from the Walmart on Lem Turner. Take a look at the surveillance video. You can see there Donald Smith inside the store with Cherish and her family. This is the first time we're seeing these clips. Now, Cherish's mother says she was shopping at a dollar store when she first met Smith. He offered to buy clothes and food for her family, which was struggling. So she and her three children got into Smith's van and drove to that Walmart where they were supposed to meet his wife. Prosecutors say that was a lie, and Smith instead used it as a scheme to abduct and then assault Cherish. That's when the mom called 911. She wanted her to buy these really tall shoes that were women's shoes, and I told him no. I said they're too high for her. I wouldn't even wear shoes that high. Maybe he was grooming her. I hope to God he doesn't kill her, and I hope to God he doesn't rape her. That did happen. We also now have 911 calls from a witness who says she saw the story on the news and then noticed Smith's white van near the church where officers ultimately ended up finding the girl's body. And we're also going through another 911 call from Smith's friend and roommate who tried to help police find him after they issued an Amber Alert. It took more than seven hours for police to send it out. We'll examine those parts of the story tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. Bruce.